hey everyone welcome back to another video on sensitivity and specificity so as usual we will be uh, looking on a use case and then we will be going further into SPSS and check how to do the sensitivity and specificity in SPSS so, so uh, from the starting itself uh, on the use case I will be taking a puppy so as you can see we will have a cute golden retriever puppy so here the problem the puppy is facing is that he don't know his, who is his biological father so he's very really confused about that and he is wondering who will be his father but he is sure that among these 12 fathers one will be his, his biological father so he has a guess that among these one will be his biological father but guess is not enough he has to find out who is his true father so he thought of doing a dna test and see who will be his father so he visit a hospital and he will ask the test procedure of doing a dna test so he get wondered on hearing that the test procedure involves a blood sample test and he have to give his blood and as well as those adult dogs blood samples so he knows that this involves some pain and he may not get those samples so it's very risky to do that so he become very sad our puppy has become very sad and he thought of leaving this DNA test and move on further but on that instant a young scientist came and sees him and claims that he has found a new procedure in which he can find his true biological father so the procedure involves a heating mechanism on a machine he claims this is his machine and he claims that through the heating mechanism he can find out who is his biological father so there is no pain involved so he just need to bring those other dogs here and just give a heat procedure and he can find out who is his biological father but he j is just claiming that this procedure is so accurate as the blood test but it's just a claim so he have to prove that this claim is valid so in order to prove this claim is valid he will take 100 samples of a retrospective data let's say so retrospective data means the previous history so he will take 100 young young puppies and also 100 adults so they may have done the blood test and they have confirmed whether they are their biological fathers or not so that becomes our gold standard test so gold standard test means the usual procedure so that was the blood test so this procedure that the scientist claim will be the diagnostic test so in here he will collect those 100 puppies and 100 adults and he will do once again this heating procedure which is the diagnostic test and will check whether these tests and the blood sample tests are almost same or not so if it is almost same then this procedure can be used instead of the gold standard test but if it is not almost same then he cannot claim and cannot be used against the gold standard test so he has the data again he will go to the, our professor and ask for doing it in SPSS so before that I like to say about a few things about gold standard test so here we will have a gold standard test which I said which in this case we have the blood samples so those are the gold standard test so here A denotes our whether they are our biological fathers or not those puppies are biological fathers or not so b denotes they are not their biological fathers and here we have the diagnostic test which is our heating procedure if it is positive it means they are 
biological fathers if it is negative they are not the biological fathers so on doing on SPSS we will have a cross tab table and it will be presented like this and uh, you have to understand about what does A means, B means, C means and D means so the proportions of proportions that are present on A becomes our sensitivity and proportions that are present on D becomes our specificity so we will be dealing about that in SPSS so let's begin into SPSS so let's see on SPSS how this is done so here we have took 100 samples so the diagnostic test will be the heating procedure and the gold standard test will be the blood samples in this case so we will have 100 samples here and we are going to do the sensitivity test so here on analyze descriptive we have cross tabs on cross tabs you have to give on rows the diagnostic tag and the gold standard should be given on columns on um, statistics you can give chi-square if you want to know the chi-square but it is not necessary so it's not needed actually on the cells you have to give on observed and on the percentages you have to give on columns you have to always remember it should be on column don't give on row it should be on column and click on ok our cross tabs will be provided here so from this cross tab we can understand the sensitivity and specificity as i said this will be a b c and d so a the proportions of people who are on a will give our sensitivity so here our sensitivity is 96.2 percentage what does that mean it means that the gold standard test and the diagnostic test has given the same result and that power is 96.2 and specificity is 95.7 that is on gold standard test those persons were not biological fa fathers and also the diagnostic test has given the same result so that was 95.7 percentage which means out of 100 for 95.7 percentage you will have this result so this is your sensitivity and this is your specificity so we will have some other terms here so this can be the false positive rate that is we are falsely counting them as positive and this will be a false negative rate so if you want to know about the diagnostic accuracy of the rest then you have to add 51 plus 45 divided by the old numbers that is 51 plus 2 plus 2 plus 45 a total a total of 100 so divided by 100 will be there that is 51 plus 45 divided by 100 which gives you diagnostic accuracy so if the specificity and sensitivity is greater than or equal to 80 only we will use uh, the diagnostic test otherwise we will reject those tests and we can't claim that it is enough using instead of gold standard test so that's all for today and comment below which dog do you think will be a, the biological father of your puppy. Thank you.